Bluff City, Memphis, Tennessee, on the banks of the Mississippi River as the Tigers of Memphis are on the field, finishing up their preparations for an all-important home game today. Time for ESPN's college football. Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit will be on the call. Brad, take it away. We're in Memphis, Tennessee, birthplace of the Blues. Hi, everybody. Brad Nessler in the booth, along with Kirk Herbstreit. Aaron Andrews is reporting from the sidelines. Today's exciting game is brought to you by Dove Men Plus Care. Be comfortable in your own skin. We'll see the Rice Owls and the Memphis Tigers. Take you down to the field for the coin toss. Brought to you by Dove Men Plus Care. Be comfortable in your own skin. Jackson. Back Both teams have sent their special teams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. From their own 20-yard line, it's first down. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. And down he goes around the 29-yard line. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. by the defense was so good on that play that it didn't matter who the ball carrier was. Anyone would have been brought down for a loss. It's third and five. Ball on their own 25. The crowd at a fever pitch right now. He's knocked out of bounds at the 29-yard line. Nice gain, but not enough for the first down. Yeah, that's a nice play there. They did everything right except get enough yards for the first down. McCarty is waiting for the snap. And he just got drilled. Not much there on that opening drive. Well, they had their opportunities here to make some plays to try to quiet this crowd, but they weren't able to do it. If things keep going this way, this stadium is going to get even louder. This drive will start at the 36. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. You know, having a playmaker at tight end makes those linebackers think twice before they make a move. That could be just enough time for the quarterback. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. And he doesn't like what he sees. He's going to change the play here. Across the middle. He's picked it off. This time, it's the safety. He seemed a little hesitant on that throw, and that left the defender time to break on the ball and pick it off. From their own 47-yard line. First down. They'll bring him down at the 43. The 
defense had that one called perfectly. That's a big play on that ball. We've got a second and 14. Ball on the 43 yard line. That's a great tackle at the 35 yard line. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 43. It's getting louder down on the field. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. Punt fields it at the 19. They'll bring him down at the 26. The offense will take the field, hoping for a better result than their last drive. He's got a lot of time to forget about that last pick. He's just got to stick to the game plan. Goes after the running back, no good. Simmons, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 26-yard line, it's second down. Up the middle. And he is drilled at the 27-yard line. Simmons gains about a yard on the play. That was a great hit by the defender. He just drove the ball carrier right to the ground. Third down, nine to go. Ball on the 27-yard line. Run, left side. And he shoved out of bounds around the 38-yard line. How about that conversion on third down? Good push here by the guys up front, and they're really starting to work hard in the trenches. First and ten. at the 37. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. That'll bring up second and 11. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 37. Tackled after a decent pickup. Third down again. Six-yard line. The fullback is a safety valve for the quarterback most times, so it's pretty reassuring to know that a safety valve is tied into this guy. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 46. They hand it off again, and he carries the ball for a nice game. Simmons comes away with five yards on the carry. And this is the eighth play of the drive. And he's taken down at around the 44-yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 36. Brought down the 37-yard line. Lawrence picks up seven yards with that catch. That'll bring up fourth and one. They'll call on the field goal unit. 
Memphis is looking to go up by three. The kick is up, and it's no good. It lands short. That's a tough break there for the kicker. And this one's scoreless. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Jackson on the give. Room around the corner. He takes it right side for a good game. Call it a gain of five yards. That brings up second and five. Pulls it in. First down. He's knocked out of bounds. Gain of nine yards. First down. You know, at that point, I think Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. From the 49-yard line, second down. Tackle made at the 49. Really good job by the big guys up front to use their size and speed. And get the runner in the backfield. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 39. And this place is rocking. I love the toughness here by this quarterback. Sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. And he's tackled at the 15-yard line. And he gets just a little on the return. That time, the coverage was all over him. Every drive is important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. From their own 34 yard line. First down. Appears that he's changing things up here before the snap. He's got the fullback across the middle. And he's tackled around the 44 yard line. Well, the quarterback's able to find a soft spot in the defense, and he threw an accurate ball for a solid pickup. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 44. Hey. 
He fights forward to about the 46. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on their own 46. So at the end of one, still no score. two-yard line. It's first down. And he snags that one. And down he goes to the 30-yard line. That's a big game there for the offense. And all that's doing is giving this quarterback more and more confidence. From the 30-yard line, first down. Seven yards on that delay. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Give to the tailback. And he hits him hard at the 20-yard line. Unbelievable. They can't get this offense off the field. Well, they've been like a machine on this drive. Very methodical and efficient. And once again, they're moving the chains. From the 20-yard line, first down. And he's level at the four. Not the greatest pass, but a really, really good play by the receiver to bail out his quarterback. It's the ninth play of the drive. Tackled for a loss. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. It's second and goal. Ball on the five-yard line. And he makes it out to about the five-yard line. It's third and goal, and they're about four yards out. Trying to read tendencies. They're trying to get an idea based on the personnel that's in the game. Hey, here comes a run, and that, well, here's a play action pass behind them. Every time they think it's a pass, the offense seems to be running. Right now, this balanced attack is really causing a lot of confusion for this defense. And down he goes at the 30. We're taking a look at a seasoned defender logging another huge effort. Well, any coach loves to have a defensive leader who just knows the scheme inside and out. He's really an extension of the coaching staff and like having a coordinator out in the huddle. He can just relax, play the game, and be the leader. And he's done all of this in the first half. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. That makes it second and ten. 
from their own 30-yard line. Second down. Third down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. This is where you get false starts. And he's immediately tackled. Nice gain, but not enough for the first down. Yeah, that's a nice play there. They did everything right except get enough yards for the first down. McCarty is the punter. Six. Made a few guys miss on his way to a quality return. The offense will take over at the 36-yard line. Memphis is up a score. On the ground, inside. He's gobbled up in the backfield. That took a little too long to develop. Yeah, the offense was trying to get the pass rush going upfield, but the defense did a nice job of sniffing out the draw play and hitting him in the backfield. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 34-yard line. Nice run, and he's brought down. Lawrence gets about four yards on the play. We've got third and eight. Ball on the 38. That could be a check with me right there. They bring him down at the 49 yard line. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. The Gamecocks come into this one ranked seventh. And for South Carolina, they're gunning for their sixth straight victory. And for Jordan, he's caught one for a touchdown. The Gamecocks have the edge, 7-0, early in the first quarter. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. From the 49-yard line, it's first down. And they make the stop around the 46-yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. That'll make it second to seven. From the 46-yard line, it's second down. We'll wait and see here if he really does change the play. better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions and especially when the defense starts to get pressure you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it memphis is up seven got a man watch out here and he is drilled at the 38 on third and long they get the first down but was it close close or not what a relief it is to the quarterback to have a new set of downs to work with from the 38 yard line first down he scrambled strike to his receiver no good I know this quarterback trusts his arm and his receivers, but he's got to know when not to throw the ball. He didn't have any room at all, and he's lucky it wasn't intercepted. Here's the eighth play of the series. That's a great tackle at the 44. 
He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Third down, and they need to get it to the 28. They're changing the play. Fakes the handoff. Defense coming. This one's going deep to the end zone. Touchdown, Memphis. He hauls in his second touchdown catch. This guy is a great target in the passing game. You can see why the quarterback loves getting in the ball. Converts the extra point. Lester is lined up to kick this one off. He'll return it from the one. And he's taken down at the 25. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. to go in the half. Now he tries to buy some time. And he's taken down around the 31-yard line. Five wide. around the 39-yard line. Well, you know this defense is going to come after you. There's no doubt about that. And as an offense, you have to be prepared for that. In that play, they made them pay for blitzing. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. Well, after that injury, we'll get to see the backup quarterback here. Pressure coming, and the ball is loose. The 31-yard line. Good thing they got the ball back. That fumble could have really cost them. And now they're faced with another third and long as they try to convert and move those chains again. It's getting louder down on the field. Throws in a hurry. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. Call it again, 22 yards. First down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 47. He looks to throw on first down. Sends it out quick. Intercepted. Brad, it's still early in this game. They might be able to get back into it. I just feel like the quarterback seems to be forcing things. I understand trying to get back, fighting to get back in the game. At that time, to throw an interception when you really need points, that was a big mistake. From their own 45-yard line, First down. He might be playing a cat and mouse game here with the defense. Zips it to the tailback incomplete. I love to see a confident quarterback, but you don't want to just go back there and put blind faith into your throws. You need a little bit more time to evaluate the coverage before you release the football. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 45-yard line. Ray drops back to pass. He airs it out. And he's got it. The 10. 
He'll take it all the way for the touchdown. <laughs> did suffer a concussion. It is bad enough that he will not be returning. Brad, I'll send it back up to you guys in the booth. Thanks for the report, EA. It's going to be interesting now to see how this team adjusts with him out the rest of the game. Lester gets set to kick this one away. Levine from the one. Tackle at the 23-yard line. Returns 23 yards. They'll take over at the 23. Yeah. Stay gone. Stay gone. He steps out around the 28 yard line. Gain of five on the play. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Change things up here. That's going to bring up fourth down. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the secondary. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. The 38 yard line. Still first down. First down, ten yards to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. Cut! Cut! There's a play fake. Slides down. So the quarterback scrambles for about eight yards. The Tigers will use their first time out of the half. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Five yard line. Memphis will take it. Timeout. That's their second of the half. That'll move the chance for another Memphis. First and ten. Ball in the twenty five. He gets it up, and it's long enough. And he got it. Yeah, he got some good luck behind him, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. 24 to nothing. Looks like they're ready for the kick. From his own goal line. Oh, he got nailed on that one. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. They go to the ground game. And he's tackled at about the 31. Rice is going to have to use their second time out of the half. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 31. 
One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. Wants to go long and down. Almost picked off. No surprises here as we come to the end of the first half. 24 to nothing, Memphis. Rice oh, is set to kick this ball off to start the second half. He'll return it from the one. Across the 30. And down he goes at the 32. The second half is underway. Here's a quick look at the first half highlights. We're about set to start things up again. Up the middle. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. They're about four yards away here on second down. On the handoff. Watch out. He's taken down around the 47-yard line. From their own 47-yard line, it's first down. They'll bring him down at the 50. That's a game of three on the play. That'll make it second to seven. From midfield, second down. They get nice yardage on that run. Game of six on the spot. That'll make it third and one. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. They're calling an audible. The offense gets a first down here. You got to give them some credit. But really, this is more about the defense. When the defense gets an offense to third down and medium, you've got to be able to put pressure on the quarterback, especially when you're passing the football. You try to get your own offense to ball back. Not time they let their own offense down. First and ten. Ball on the 38 yard line. He's got a man. Play 69 yard drive, and they put up seven points. Memphis gets set to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 10, he's to the 20. At the 30, tackle made at the 32 yard line. Returned 32 yards. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 32. Quick strike to the receiver. And they make the stop at the 41-yard line. Quinn with the tackle at the 41-yard line. That brings up second and one. Drill at 
the 47. Green gains six yards with a short completion. Heads up play by the quarterback to find his receiver in traffic and get the ball into his hands. From their own 47-yard line, first down. Hunter to the air on first down. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 47. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. I'm going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 43. Looks to pass. I'm sure the defense thought he came up short. You know, sometimes the officials' judgments can have a big impact on a game. Second and ten. Ball on the 41-yard line. And he's taken down at the 18. With the reception. Quinn on the tackle at the 18-yard line. First down. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. It was a textbook post route and the pass was right on target. Converts the extra point. So an eight-play, 69-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. You know, when you can throw the football as well as these guys can, you don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient in throwing the ball. So the score now, 31-7. He's to the 10. start another drive hoping to duplicate the results of the last one which ended in a touchdown so much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers and right now with this offense they are in sync and really the timing and execution is flawless from their own 23 yard line it's second down Down at about the 25-yard line. That'll bring up third and eight. From their own 25-yard line. It's third down. Fired back to his fullback, but he can't hang on. That makes it fourth and eight. Jackson is the deep man awaiting the return. He punts this one high in the air. Gets to about the 41-yard line. They'll go to work at the 41. Looking for his man, incomplete. 
slot of the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second. From their own 41 yard line. Second down. He drops back. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. Call it a gain of 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. He's looking to pass. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. That makes it From the 47-yard line, it's second down. He goes out of bounds around the 42-yard line. A pickup of five. Not a bad play. They gain five yards out of it, and they keep moving the defense back. We'll wait and see here if he really does change the play. Drops back to pass. That's a great tackle at the 23-yard line. Lewis makes the tackle at the 23-yard line. First down. And he snags that one. Knocked out of bounds at the 10-yard line. That's he is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. <laughs> Looks like he flinched down there on the line. It's so tough to move the ball forward. Even a five-yard setback can do damage to a drive. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. And they get the sack. It's second and goal. Ball in the 23. Miscommunicate. It looked like the wide receiver was going in one direction and a quarterback was throwing it another direction. They definitely need to get on the same page. It's the ninth play of the drive. Back to pass. He's pushed out of bounds at the four yard line. This one should be makeable. It's up, and the field goal is good. Rice is ready to kick it away. He's to the 20. Across the 30. And he's tackled at the 41-yard line. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. Somebody jumped early down there. Maybe he got the cadence wrong coming out of the huddle. The coaches have a low threshold for mistakes like that. First and 15 now after the penalty.
tackle made right around the 36 yard line. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. That'll bring up second and 15. From their own 36 yard line, second down. He throws. Catches it. And they push him out right around the 40. That last completion puts him over 300 yards passing in the game. He's been able to get up and down the field all day today, moving consistently and effectively. And even though they're comfortably in the lead, it doesn't look like they're going to stop passing the ball. From the 40-yard line, first down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. He's tackled at the 17. It's first and 10. Ball on the 17-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. And down he goes at the seven. That's good for a gain of two yards. That'll make it third and one. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. The seven yard line. No gain. That makes it fourth and inches. So it's fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. He gets it up and it sails through the uprights. <laughs> From the two. And down he goes at the 25 yard line. But hold on, we got a penalty on the play. Let's check it out. Jackson returns the kick. Kickoff returns 23 yards. One more quarter to play, and this one appears to be well under control. 34 10. <laughs> Inside give. They'll bring him down right around the 46-yard line. And the tailback broke that one for a very nice game. Give the offensive line some kudos there. They blocked very well up front to create the holes for this back. From their own 46 yard line. Second down. Check, check. 200. Back to pass. And he tackles him hard at the 39 yard line. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, 
You really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive lineman have after that. And they got him. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. He's to the 40. Tackle made at the 49. And what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kirk. Well, this is really just one of those games where it's all coming together. He's making the right reads. He's delivering the football in rhythm. And the most important thing is he's playing with confidence. All of his success has led to their advantage on the scoreboard. They'll take over at the 49-yard line. He airs it out. And he got it! They get on the board again. Touchdown. <laughs> Set to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. He's to the 10. Bumba! The 10. He's all the way. Touchdown. the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. And he just got drilled. Kickoff returns 26 yards. Yeah, it's been kind of a nightmare for this offensive line. Good pass rush by these guys today. The contributions from this defense is one reason they've got the lead. Well, let's see if the offense can make up for the misfortune they had just a few moments ago. I know as a quarterback, it's always hard to watch the defense score a touchdown on you. But it was always a reminder to take extra care of the football. As he's tipped away. It's a great job here by the defensive coordinator with this play call. A lot of times you start to maybe think about blitzing linebackers. This time he keeps the linebackers back in position to be able to knock the football away and not give this offense a chance to pick up a first down. From their own 26 yard line. Third down. Cut. 
He drops back. He gets sacked on the play. Can this offense do anything to slow down this pass rush? I think they need to make some adjustments with their pass protection. Maybe allow the backs to stay in the block because the quarterback is getting pounded back there. Fourth and long here after the sack. McCarty is waiting for the snap. Oh, what a hit. He showed a good burst there. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Memphis comes to the line. They got a big advantage in this one. Option to the right. Davidson picks up only about a yard there on the fullback option. That brings up second and nine. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 44. He's tackled right around the 42-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. That'll bring up third and eight. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 35. Looking to throw. He scrambled. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. He's taken down at about the 31. Pretty good game, more importantly, though, it's good for the first down. That's heartbreaking for a defense. They stopped him on the first three plays, but they just couldn't contain the pass on fourth down. We've got a first and 10, ball on the 31. Yardage. Lawrence gains around six yards on the draw play right there. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Memphis up by a bunch. He's been very impressive, throwing for 400 yards. The guy has done a great job moving the sticks all day long. He's a really good player. And let me tell you, it's been fun to watch, too. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Complete knocked away. This is the eighth play of this drive. To the end zone, intercepted. That was just a slow. Poppy pass, but for now they can afford to live with it. First and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. Hunter drops back on first down. And he just gets rid of it. From their own 20-yard line, it's second down. He's looking to pass. Aaron and out long. And he went way up, and he's got the interception. And he's taken down around the 48-yard line. Another interception. 
you know, you look at this offense and they're making mistakes, but how about the effort and the tenacity from this defense? Even with the big lead, they're not giving up. I think they want to continue to blow this team out. First and 10, ball on the 48. Memphis up by a big margin. Ray options out. Nice run up the middle. We've got a flag down on the field. Might have been offside. A pick up of five on the option to the fullback. That brings up second and five. Second and five. Ball on the 43 yard line. Down right around the 44 yard line. That took a little too long to develop. Yeah, the offense was trying to get the pass rush going upfield, but the defense did a nice job of sniffing out the draw play and hitting them in the backfield. From the 44 yard line, third down. It's fourth down. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Quick strike and he drops it. If they punted, they would have pushed him back pretty far. Now, by failing on fourth down, they've given a pretty decent field position. Not a great gamble by going for it. The offense will take over at the 44-yard line. He looks to throw on first down. Tackle made at about the 45. Gain of 11 yards. That makes it first and 10. And they make the stop at the 42. Gain of three yards. That makes it second and six. Less than three minutes in the game. Here we go. Go. And he hits him hard at the 50-yard line. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 35. Try to cough and corner this one. They'll set up shot at the twenty one. He's scrambling. Rolls to the right. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. Well, the quarterback's able to find a soft spot in the defense, and he threw an accurate ball for a solid pickup. From their own 33 yard line. First down. They give to the tailback. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Lawrence gets six yards on the carry. They're about four yards away here on second down. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. Van gets about a yard on the play. 
They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Trying to confuse the defense here with the audible. Slings it. Tackle around the 46 yard line. That'll move the chance for another Memphis. First down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 46 yard line. They'll throw on first down. Going long. And he makes a catch. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A four-play, 68-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Ready to kick. He's to the 10. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 29 yard line. They'll go to work at the 29. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. They call it a catch, but the booth signaled down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. After review, call on the field stands. So the call on the field stands. They come out on an empty backfield. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Option. Looks like he might audible out of that play. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. A one-yard gain by the halfback. One's in the books, and our final score, Memphis 55, Rice 10. 55, Rice 10. As we finish up the broadcast, what do you have to say about how this game turned out, Kurt? Well, this is no big surprise. I think we all anticipated a severe beating in this one. Rice knew they didn't stand much of a chance, but they probably would have liked to keep it a little bit closer than it ended up. There's just not a whole lot you can do when you're facing such a talented team like that. Here's another look at our selection for the EA Sports Player of the Game. For the Tigers, they remain unbeaten. They pick up their fifth win of the season. And for the Owls, they drop to a very disappointing one and five. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 13. For Kirk and Aaron, Brad Nessler saying so long.